A big win for Texas and unvaccinated American workers. Federal appeals court temporarily blocked President Biden's vaccine mandate on private companies after Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton and others sued the administration over the impose, uh, imposition of these orders. But over the weekend, the White House said it's not giving up on pushing those mandates. Watch. The president and the administration wouldn't have put these requirements in place if they didn't think that they were appropriate and necessary. And the administration is certainly prepared to defend them. Attorney General, Penn, uh, Attorney General uh, Paxton joins us now to discuss this temporary victory. Walk us through what actually happened here with this lawsuit. Mr. Attorney General, thanks for being with us. Hey, glad to do it. Thanks for having me on. So, all right, let's start with this. What is the lawsuit about? What, what is the claim? What are you involved in here? How are, we, how are you stopping this thing? Yeah, so our claim is pretty simple. The president doesn't have the authority to order an agency that doesn't have the authority to uh, require that employers require that their employees have a, have a vaccine or get fired. There's nothing that gives the president the authority to do that. There's nothing in federal law that allows OSHA, which is the agency that was doing this. Congress has to specifically grant that, that authority. I'm not even sure they could do that, but certainly this is unprecedented. We've never had anything like this. We've never had a president this bold and this, um, I don't know, uh, willing to, to harm uh, hundreds of thousands, if not millions of workers in America. What, what's your response, uh, Mr. Attorney General, when you hear people say, oh, but OSHA, I mean, this was, I think, Ron Klain, the White House Chief of Staff, said, if they can mandate hard hats, they can mandate shots. I mean, that sounds like a nice thing to say. It's just not true. Uh, they have workplace safety, which involves uh, dealing with chemicals and dealing with things like hard hats, but there's nothing close to allowing them to literally mandate that you you have to give a vaccine, you have to take a vaccine or you lose your job. That's pretty extraordinary power. Uh, this, this is a constitutional republic. We're all free and we're not, we don't have a government that can order things like that in this country, even though that little sound bite sounds kind of cute. You know, we have not only the mandate supposed to go into effect for companies, businesses with over a hundred employees, but the Surgeon General was recently asked about this for, the, uh, for this administration. Here's what he said about extending their mandate to small businesses. And Dr. Murthy, if the law survives legal challenges, will the administration be extending the mandate to smaller employers with fewer than 100 employers, employees? Well, Martha, certainly nothing is off the table at this moment, but the focus right now is on implementing uh, the current rule that OSHA put out. Nothing is off the table. That to me sounds like they will if they can. But so uh, Attorney General Paxton, how, how does this go now? How do you stop them? Where, where is this in the courts? What should people expect from the process here when it comes to the uh, stopping of the vaccine mandate? Well, at least they're being a little more honest here before. You remember the president said there was no way this was going to happen. And of course, here we are a couple months later. So at least they're now being honest about the fact that they want to do this for every possible human being in the country. It doesn't apply, obviously, if you're illegal. You can come across the border and you won't be required to get vaccinated or be tested. Well, the, the, where we are at now, is we've, we've got at least a, an injunction that stops it from going into effect. We're going to continue to argue on the merits in order to get the injunction the court had to had to acknowledge that we would suffer irreparable harm as a state. It wasn't just my state. There were South Carolina, Utah, Louisiana, and Mississippi joining us. And that we were likely, if it went to trial on the merits, to win. So we're in a good position here to help protect American workers from abuse from their own government. I want to switch gears with you for a second here. The Biden administration recently, uh, well, Joe Biden himself actually flip-flopped when it comes to this question of paying the families of illegal migrants separated from each other under the Trump administration up to $450,000 an individual, up to a million dollars a family. Biden initially said that that was essentially just a lie, not true. Now he's changed his mind a bit. Here's what he said. If in fact, because of the, the outrageous behavior of the last administration, you coming across the border, whether it was legal or illegal, and you lost your child. You lost your child. It's gone. You deserve some kind of compensation, no matter what the circumstance. What that will be, I have no idea. I have no idea. Why would he have no idea? I mean, the Department of Justice is in his chain of command. What do you make of this? I, th I mean, look, I think he knows exactly. Well, I don't know if he knows what's going on, but if the people that work for him do know what's going on, then maybe he can say that. 
But the reality is this is just another incentive payment. Uh, this is an incentive payment for those who are not here yet to come. And I, I really believe that he will do whatever it takes. He's, he's basically done that from day one where he stopped all deportations and ignored federal law, not just ignored it, but went against it, went opposite of federal law and started allowing people to come here illegal, illegally by the millions. And so I think their goal is to get 10 million people here in four years. And it doesn't matter how they do it. It doesn't matter if they're criminal. It doesn't matter if they have COVID. It doesn't matter if they work for the cartels. It doesn't matter if they, they traffic in human beings. The Biden administration is for it. 